Welcome to day number 35 of our 40 days of power. I trust that you are walking in the strength of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You are enjoying the goodness of the Lord. As you know, this week we are talking about proclaiming God's rule. We are affirming that God rules in the affairs of men. And today we look at a passage in the Bible that affirms that in Psalm 19, verses 1 and 2. And it reads, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. Psalm 19 is a very glorious psalm because it talks about God's creation worshiping him. And when we look at the passage we just read, um, you see that the psalmist is ascribing some activity to the elements which are not normal. For example, you hear words like utter speech or reveals knowledge. So the earth, the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars, they don't speak like we speak. But the psalmist is saying that when we observe them, they are telling us something. They are declaring something to us. So although they don't have a mouth like we have, their presence is a speech, is an utterance, is a revelation of knowledge. So anytime we see the heavens and we see all the heavenly bodies, we are learning something from them because they are telling us something. God's creation reveals God to us. So when we watch the things that God has created, what does it tell us? Of course, when you look at creation, you see things like order. It's amazing how things are ordered in creation. You see intelligence, even in, in plants, in animals, in, in the vegetation, in the, in the rock formations. You see intelligence, you see beauty, you see majesty. What does that tell us? It tells us that the one who created them, Jehovah God, is orderly, he's a God of beauty, he's a God of elegance, and he's an intelligent God. So all of these things in creation are uttering a word to us. They are teaching us something. In the daytime when we see the brightness of the sun outshining everything in the sky, so bright we can't even look at it, it tells us of the glory of God in majesty full glory that we can't even look at. But in the night, we see the stars and the moon, and we can look at them in the midst of the darkness. It means that this God we cannot see can also be seen. We can see him, we can observe him in the midst of all the darkness of this world. We can still see God at work. So day and night, creation is teaching us something, is uttering the voice of the Lord. The interesting thing about creation is that as it worships God, it never stops worshiping God. Creation never gets tired. Creation never gives up. It goes on and on and on. So it is a continuous thing, day by day, night by night, continuously in a never-ending proclamation of God's glory. In this part of the world, we live around, uh, those of us at the coast, we live close to the Atlantic Ocean. And most of us sometimes spend time in the Atlantic Ocean. And when you stand at the beach, you see waves after waves after waves that pour out to the beach, and then they roll back. And then they pour out, and then they roll back. And you stand there for as long as possible, and the waves never stop. And the waves continue day after day, night after night, month after month, since they were created, they've never stopped roaring, declaring the praise of God, declaring the majesty of God. Creation never stops worshiping God. If creation doesn't stop worshiping God, we should also not stop worshiping God. We should also proclaim the beauty of the Lord day after day, morning by morning, night by night, day by day, moment by moment. His praise should be from our lips and should be ceaseless, endless praise coming from the lips of those who are created in the image of God. And I pray that God will make you an endless proclaimer 
and a ceaseless proclaimer of his glory, just like the heavens declare the glory of God. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, day and night, your creation reveals your wisdom. Help me to also glorify you at all times. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Let's proclaim his glory with our lives and with our deeds. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.